Have you ever wondered why hyenas laugh or even more curiously how they reproduce? These fascinating creatures have a reputation for their unique eerie laughter, but there's so much more to discover. Hyenas are not just scavengers as they are often portrayed. In fact, they are intelligent hunters with a complex social structure. They live in groups called clans, led by the most dominant female, making them one of the few matriarchal societies in the animal kingdom. Their laughter, a sound synonymous with hyenas, is not an expression of humor, but rather a form of communication used to signal their social status or excitement during a hunt. But what truly sets these creatures apart is their unusual reproductive system, a topic that has intrigued scientists for years. Unlike most mammals, female hyenas possess certain unique characteristics that make their reproduction quite a spectacle in the animal world. So, are you ready to unravel the mysteries? Let's dive into the fascinating world of hyena reproduction. Now, when it comes to hyena reproduction, there's no specific mating season. Yes, you heard that right. Unlike many other creatures in the animal kingdom, hyenas do not have a designated time of the year for mating. They are quite the rebels, choosing instead to mate at any time they please. Hyenas, particularly the spotted variety, are known for their unique social structure. In the world of hyenas, it's the ladies who run the show. The females, larger and more aggressive than their male counterpart, sit atop the social ladder. This matriarchal society extends its influence into the realm of reproduction as well. The female hyena, the queen of her clan, has the ultimate say in choosing her mate. She's the one who decides when it's time to expand the clan and who will be the lucky male to help her do so. You see, in the hyena world, it's not about the strongest or the fastest male, but rather about the female's choice. And how does she choose, you might wonder? Well, it's not entirely clear. Some suggest that the female might select a mate based on his social ranking within the clan. Others argue that it may have more to do with personal compatibility. Whatever the case may be, the choice ultimately lies with her. But it's not all fun and games. The mating process can be quite a challenge for these creatures. The female's unique physiology with her pseudo-penis makes copulation a tricky business, but nature always finds her way and so do the hyenas. After mating, the female will carry the pregnancy for approximately four months, after which she will give birth to one or two cubs. These cubs will then be raised in the clan under the watchful eyes of their mother and the other females. So, as you can see, the hyena mating process is a fascinating mix of power, choice and survival. It's a testament to the resilience of these creatures and their uh, ability to adapt in a harsh and unforgiving environment. The female hyena is indeed the one who calls the shots. The process of mating in hyenas is quite unique and challenging. Let's delve into the intricacies of this fascinating process. You see, female hyenas are equipped with what is commonly referred to as a pseudo-penis a clitoral structure that is so large and elongated it closely resembles the male's organ. This feature, while quite extraordinary, poses a significant challenge during mating. Unlike in other animals where the male's organ is a perfect fit for the female's reproductive tract, hyenas have a more complicated setup. The male has to navigate his organ into the female's pseudopenis, a feat that is far from easy. The process requires precise positioning and cooperation from both the male and female. This is no small task, as the pseudopenis is not only similar in appearance to the male's organ, but also nearly matches it in size. It's like threading a needle with another needle. So, as you can imagine, this process can be quite precarious and even risky for the male hyena. The slightest miscalculation or unexpected movement can result in injury to the male. The risk of such injuries is especially high due to the narrowness of the female pseudopenis. This unusual anatomy also means that successful mating is less common than unsuccessful attempts, making each successful mating event a notable achievement. It's also worth noting that this complex mating process is not just a one-time ordeal. Female hyenas have to go through this every time they mate, making their reproductive journey quite a strenuous one. In a world where survival of the fittest is the rule, this unique mating process might seem counterintuitive, but it's one of the many ways nature keeps us on our toes, reminding us of the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on Earth. So, 
The mating process for hyenas isn't as straightforward as it is for many other animals. It's a process that's fraught with challenges and risks, but also a testament to the extraordinary adaptability and resilience of these fascinating creatures. After the difficult mating process, the female hyena faces another challenge, pregnancy and birth. The journey from conception to birth in the world of hyenas is a fascinating one marked by both peril and wonder. The gestation period for these tenacious creatures lasts around 110 days, a relatively short time compared to other mammals, but don't be fooled, this short period is by no means an easy one. The birthing process in particular is fraught with danger due to the female hyena's unique anatomy. You see, female hyenas are known for their pseudopenis, an extended clitoral structure that can be mistaken for a male's penis. This anatomical feature is not only used during mating, but also serves as the birth canal for the female hyena. Now, you might be thinking, that sounds complicated, um, and you'd be right, giving birth through a pseudo-penis is no easy task. It's a narrow passage, far more constricted than a typical mammalian birth canal. This often leads to complications during birth, making the process risky for both the mother and cub. In fact, first-time mothers face a high rate of cub mortality due to the difficulties associated with this birthing process. It's a harsh reality of life in the animal kingdom, but one that hyenas have adapted to over countless generations. Yet despite these challenges, the birth of a hyena cub is a remarkable event. It's a testament to the resilience and strength of the female hyena, a creature that endures one of the most challenging reproductive processes in the animal kingdom. From conception to birth, the life of a hyena is filled with trials. But it's through these trials that the hyena's extraordinary resilience shines, demonstrating the remarkable adaptability of life in the wild. The birth of a hyena cub is a true testament to the resilience and strength of female hyenas. Once the cubs arrive, the world of the hyena pack changes dramatically. The arrival of these tiny creatures transforms the dynamics within the clan, bringing with it new responsibilities and roles for each member. But the lion's share of the responsibility falls on the mother. In the world of hyenas, motherhood is not for the faint-hearted. The mother hyena is not just a nurturer, but also a protector and a teacher. She takes charge of feeding her cubs, nursing them with rich milk that is packed with nutrients, she also guards them fiercely, making sure they are safe from any potential dangers. But the mother hyena doesn't shoulder these responsibilities alone. The clan steps in with each member playing a part in ensuring the safety and well-being of the newborns. It's a communal effort, a testament to the strong bonds that exist within the hyena pack. However, it's not all about nurture in the hyena world. Nature plays a crucial role too. Interestingly, hyena cubs inherit their mother's social status. This inherited status greatly influences their survival and future within the clan. If a cub is born to a high-ranking female, it enters the world with a certain privilege. It gets first dibs on food, enjoys more protection, and has a better chance at surviving into adulthood. On the other hand, a cub born to a low-ranking female faces more challenges. It's last in line for food and must navigate the harsh realities of life at the bottom of the hierarchy. But regardless of their inherited status, hyena cubs are robust and resilient. They are born with their eyes open, ready to take on the world from the moment they arrive. Their sharp teeth, which they have at birth, prepare them for the carnivorous diet they will soon adopt. Hyena cubs are born into a world of fierce competition and strict hierarchy, but they are well equipped to navigate it. Their survival is a testament to their strength and the communal spirit of the hyena pack they are born into. So there you have it, the fascinating and complex world of hyena reproduction. We've journeyed through their year-round mating season where no specific time of year restricts their reproductive activities. We delved into the unique matriarchal society of hyenas, where females rule the roost and even choose their partners. We also tackled the arduous process of mating and giving birth, a feat made challenging by the female hyena's unique anatomy. The survival of the cubs, their upbringing and the fierce competition among siblings have also been part of our exploration. In essence, hyena reproduction is a testament to their resilience and adaptability. Their survival in the wild is not a product of chance, but a result of a complex and intriguing lifestyle.